Hi. So today's video is a bit different. Like I've started making videos and just gone sideways with little things and fails and outtakes and stuff. And I just thought like, hey, what the hell? I'll talk about it later whenever I'm in there. And for now, like you know, things that like sort of comes to my mind and like triggers me or like is present in my life and pretty big thing. Not really. <laughs> it's just it's just there. You know, like you know, it's, it's like it's like a window and you're looking out, but you still see a window there. Uh, the glass or whatever. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what are your thoughts on the censorship? You know, the, the latest thing that's going on on the internet and stuff, and like for me, it was never like too big, like, oh, whatever, like, you know, things will solve or whatever, like, my attention was going different into different ways and I was doing different things, but now it's like I'm paying more attention into what's going on and like, I've mentioned the same thing during the stream yesterday like four or five times, and I'll say it again one more time, because why not? But, you know, like, it's getting worse, and, like, I don't like it, and, like, you know, what are your thoughts on the whole thing about censorship? I watched, you know, a few videos yesterday, and, like, they're looking at, there's, the, I mean, they're, they're saying, like, hey, uh, go to YouTube, type into, into a search UFO or aliens, and the thing you're gonna get is, like, Fox News, BBC, CNN, ABC, you know, National Geography, Discovery Channel, whatever, but nothing from small people. You can have your footage, but they will censor you. And like, you know, sure, there was an article of where YouTube target, uh, they're gonna start censoring, you know, things about 9-11 was an instant job, because it definitely wasn't, and you know, like all the cures for everything, because we don't have a person like Joe Dispenza actually having lots of changes in life. He got flattered because that's stupid, like, who came with that shit? Uh, come on, <laughs> you know. And now, like, the latest thing, like, UFO was an aliens. CIA, they had like, I don't know, like 30,000 papers that like they uncovered and showed for the public about the UFOs and aliens and other stuff, all with all the info there, and now, if you make a video about it, like, you're being, uh, you're just not being recommended. Your video is there, like, I don't think that they demonetize people yet, but they might, but like, the thing is, like, you're not showing up as, on, on the first page. People like, you know, security team, you know, that, that guy is like, I don't, I don't remember his name, like, I don't watch his channel much, but from time to time I look into that, and, like, you know, he makes a lot of videos about UFOs and, like, all those little things, and he's just discussing the topic. There's no conspiracy theories there or anything. And YouTube, like, doesn't show his channel anymore, just because he's talking about it. So for us to theorize about anything, it's not a thing anymore. Like, I mean, you can't do that because of the YouTube. And, like, it's not a big deal in my life. Uh, I want to talk about certain subjects, and, like, I really love making those sub exposure videos on, on anime and video games and stuff. Like, I have lots of things I want to make, and I'm listing it out, and, like, writing scripts and working on it. But then look at uh, my friend, Rich Twin of the X. Like, I really admire his work and who he has, who he is as a person, what he do, and what he does. I'm, like, sorry for my English, like, <laughs> messed up. But anyway, you know, if you look at this channel and the, his videos, and you look at the first one, it's in, in the middle, like, he's fired up. He has a lot to say. He knows a lot. His opinion is amazing. And yet, right now, he cannot make videos, or he doesn't feel that he can because of YouTube, because they will censor him. Like, he, he loves to talk about 9-11, he loves to talk about what's going on in the world, he would love to talk about politics and, you know, like, all the pedophilia and human trafficking and what's going on and how, how bad it is, and that Trump is trying to make a difference. I don't know if he's a good guy or not, but he is doing something about pedophilia, you know. And for me, it's like, uh, I was sexually abused when I was a kid, so that's a big subject for me. And if anyone can stop that, I'm up for that. So, you know, like a, a big thing. And Rich is fired up. Like, he can talk a lot about it. And he has a lot to say about all these things. But he is so fired up that he gets, like, hateful. Righteously still, because it's a big thing. And he has get hateful and he talks about it. And eventually, his fear right now, because with, with all the things that's happening on YouTube, he, he doesn't want to get, you know, like, his, his channel taken down or, like, being just, you know, not existing anymore, because that's, like, his main workplace. I mean, like, you, the audience, like, if, if you watch his videos, like, he gets a lot from you, and uh, even though he doesn't have any monetization on his channel, people who come and watch his stuff and usually go to his website and, like, buy something from him, you know, people support him that way. Like, that's the only way he lives. And, you know, like, other things. Uh, I've seen, like, people playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Cool, nice game. People are enjoying it. And there was some, um, some guy who actually, like, during the game, found a feminist woman and just for gags, just for laugh, and like, you know, hey, I'll, I'll make a joke. So he ties up that, that woman, that feminist, and he feeds it to crocodiles in the game. 
So he gets his channel taken down, like, you know, like, uh, tons of, you know, backlashes from YouTube and, like, he, he's just not existing anymore. So he worked with YouTube and, like, got his thing out and, like, so they fixed it. But just to think that, you know, he did such thing, like, in the video game, he did something funny for him and his audience, and, and his channel was taken down. Something funny like that. But yet, YouTube allows to have sex on YouTube. Educational sex. Let's learn, like, let's touch boobs, or, like, let's learn about penis and stuff, like, wow, do we need that? They allow all the war, we can watch movies with killing, slaughtering, and guts getting out, that's okay. But if you do something in video game, now we're gonna get out of YouTube. Because that's fine, I mean, <laughs> come on. We can have, like, you know, look at them Hollywood. Most of the movies, like, 90% of the movies are killing and slaughtering and something bad happening. And what kind of influence does it have on us? Pretty negative. I mean, sure, it's entertaining, it's fictional, but people get uh, taken down on YouTube by playing video game and doing something funny for them. And yet we have, like, wars going on, and we have something serious going on, and that's not being talked about, because that's okay. That's good. You know? So, that kind of, like, gets me going, and, and I'm like, you know, what are your thoughts on this whole thing? Uh, we have, like, you know, internet was created to control us. The they created the internet to gather us people in one place, so they sold it as a really good thing and got everyone or most people addicted. Like, now we cannot imagine our life without our internet. Like, we're so addicted to our phones and, like, you know, Facebook and Instagram and all kinds of things. So, you, know, you can reach your friends all over the place and, like, just feel better about yourself. And if that was taken down, if they had, a, like, they have ways to control it. But if internet was gone, how would your life change? How significant would you feel? Would you still exist as a person? Of course you would. But you know, for, for those who are like influencers and they have like you know millions of followers on Instagram and that's their only place, and Instagram is taken down, it doesn't exist anymore, who are you? Where's your audience again? So, you know, it's a big thing and you know they're controlling the internet and who knows what they're gonna do next. Like we have this article 14 and the whole thing with copyrights. Like I understand the people, you know, like let's say David Icke and others, they're writing books and they, of course, they want to have books sold, not pirated. But then, um, for those who are making videos, like, let's see me. Uh, I made that video about, like, banana fish, service closure, and I would have loved to, like, let's say, let them monetize my content so that they would, like, the creators of the anime would get the money. I would be so happy if that happened. Like, if I get some people watch my channel and they're like, hey, I like that anime, I'm gonna buy it, or, you know, if they can support the creators, I would love that. But what they're doing is, YouTube gets money from me. I don't get it. The creators of the anime don't get it. YouTube gets the money. And, you know, like, come on, that's not fair. So, you know, with all the things going, going on, and uh, let's say if I was to make more videos, like my next video is going to be about The Promised Neverland. I mean, not, not, not next video, but the next ne next sub disclosure video. I want to touch that subject because, like, it includes the implants and RFID chips and uh, demons and other things, like, it's, it's pretty interesting for me. But we have so much going on, and, like, you know, I can say a little thing, and bam, I'm not there anymore. People will not hear my opinion. Big deal. But at the same time, if you were the one to express your wants, it's basically silencing people, not letting them talk anymore. And that's a big thing. So, yeah, like, I'm just ranting and just talking it out, because, like, <laughs> I started making a video about the six basic human needs, and I, like, made it, like, five times, and I've messed up and I'm like, oh, okay, maybe not. So I just like looked at the YouTube and I'm like, mm, I might make a thing about like, you know, censorship and stuff. So here I am making a video. Uh, just being authentic, I guess, or just talking about whatever that comes to my mind. And that's okay, it's a bit better than not making anything, I hope. Anyway, yeah, uh, so I'm just talking, <laughs> I'm just talking. But I want to know what you think about censorship. Where, where's it going to go? What are your, you know, thoughts on this whole thing? Uh, so yeah, please share in the comments and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.